Forever Green presents 10 Most Ancient Dog Breeds on Earth. Number 1. Saluki. The Saluki is perhaps the oldest known breed of domesticated dog. This beautiful dog has been found on rock art dating back to 10,000 BC. They were considered to be the Royal Dog of Egypt. They are identified by some historians as having been a distinct breed and type as long ago as 329 BC, when Alexander invaded India. This breed also appears on the Egyptian tombs of 2100 BC and the Sumerian Empire of 7000 to 6000 BC. Having incredible speed, the Saluki was used by the Arabs primarily to track and bring down gazelle, the fastest of the antelopes. Salukis were first brought to Europe and America in 1840. Number 2. Afghan Hound An extremely fast and active runner, this Afghan breed is a sight hound, which means it hunts by sight. Little is known for certain about its origin, but it is mentioned several times in Egyptian papyruses as well as pictured in the caves of northern Afghanistan more than 4,000 years ago. The breed was kept pure for centuries, and its exportation was always prohibited. It was in Afghanistan that the breed developed its long coat for protection from the cold at high altitudes. It was first brought to Europe in the 1920s by the officers of the East India Company. Pablo Picasso owned an Afghan hound named Kabul. His 1962 painting, Femme au Chien, features an Afghan hound which was sold for $10 million in 2012. Number 3. Sholoitz Quintli The Sholoitz Quintli is a hairless Mexican dog that is so primitive that it was actually worshipped by the Aztecs. According to the mythology, the god, Sholotl, made the dogs from a silver of the bone of life, which was also used to create all of mankind. Sholotl gave the dog to man, asking him to guard it with his life. In exchange, the dog would guide man through the world of death. The Sholos became emotionally mature at age 2. The breed was not inbred like many other purebred animals, so they are incredibly healthy. But they do require moisturizer, sunscreen, and baths to prevent sunburn, acne, and blackheads. Number 4. Peruvian Inca Orchid Like their northern neighbor breed, these pups were worshipped by the Incas. But the breed is actually a lot older than the Incan culture. Pictures of the breed appeared in Peruvian artwork from as far back as 750 AD. Peruvian folklore, much of which is based on Incan stories, says that hugging the dogs can help with medicinal problems, particularly stomach problems. Sadly, the animals were almost ran out of existence after the Spanish conquest of Peru. Small villages in rural areas are all that kept the breed alive. They need lotion and lots of baths to prevent sunburn, acne, and dry skin. Number 5. Norwegian Lundhund The Lundhund has some amazing features that make it physically unlike any other breed. One of its more distinct characteristics is the fact that it has six toes on each foot. It also has unique shoulder and neck joints that allow it to stretch its legs out straight in both directions and to reach its forehead all the way to its back. It can also close its ear canal at will to prevent dirt, and water from getting in. The dogs were originally trained to hunt puffins, all the way back in the 1600s. But after the practice died out, the breed almost went extinct. By the 1900s, the only small population survived in the small village of Mondstadt. In 1963, there were only six of the dogs alive, and thanks to the care and effort of a few dedicated breeders, there are now at least 1,500 of the dogs alive. Number 6. Chinese Sharpei The Chinese Sharpei is thought to have originated in the area around the small village of Tai Li in Kwantung province, and has existed for centuries in the southern provinces of China. Apparently since the Han Dynasty, which is said to exist in 200 BC, statues bearing a strong resemblance to the Sharpei have been discovered and dated to this period. 
This breed has been seen in pictures on pottery dating back to 206 BCE. The Sharpe, like the Chow Chow, has a black blue tongue. These are the only two breeds featuring this characteristic. Number 7. Catahoula Leopard Dog These pups aren't just unique because they have a cool name. They also are amazing hunters and are even able to climb trees to chase prey. The dogs are believed to be one of the longest surviving breeds in all of North America and were prized by Native Americans for their amazing hunting abilities. The breed's name comes from the Catahoula Parish of Louisiana, where the breed originated. Number 8. Neapolitan Mastiff Fans of the Harry Potter movies might recognize the massive mongrels as Hagrid's pet Fang. While they aren't quite as massive as the one in the movie was made to appear, the dogs are incredibly large, standing over two and a half feet tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 150 pounds. Historically, the breed is said to have fought beside the Roman legions, wearing bladed, spiked leather harnesses so they could run under the bellies of enemy horses and disembowel them. Sadly, despite their long breed history, they were almost extinct after World War II. But shortly after, an Italian painter set up a kennel to protect the breed by mixing the remaining Neapolitan Mastiffs with a few English Mastiffs to help diversify this amazing breed. Number 9. Puli. The Pulis are known for their mop-like appearance due to dense dreadlocks present on its skin, which also stop it from shedding and make it waterproof. While no one knows exactly where Pulis come from, there are indications that ancient Romans owned this dog breed, and there is some evidence that shows the breed is over 6,000 years old. It is said that they could be found in Asia over 2,000 years ago, and were introduced into Hungary 1,000 years ago. While the breed's dreadlocks grow naturally, owners still need to actively groom the dog, keeping the courts clean, neat, and thin. Number 10. Carolina Dog This dog doesn't look too odd, but what makes it unique lies not in its physical appearance, but its DNA. As it turns out, the Carolina Dog may be the oldest canine species in North America, appearing in rock paintings by early Native Americans. They also share DNA with Australian Dingoes and New Guinea Singing Dogs. They are still relatively primitive animals subject to social hierarchy problems between their owners and are not recommended for first-time dog owners.